So I want to take a few minutes today and um, I want to talk about quality and metrology in manufacturing. And this is a topic that I lecture on a few times a year in my, uh, in my ME 1800 course. So we're going to borrow the slides from that class here where we do this. And when I do these lectures, I start off by asking the students, we do a little poll in class, and I ask the students, which of these car manufacturers offers the highest quality? And I, I pass out index cards and the students have to write down Mercedes-Benz, Kia, or Chevrolet, and it's their opinion of which, which car manufacturer offers the highest quality. And, uh, and so there's some typical results of one of these studies over here that, uh, that I've shown up here. And so this would be 11 respondents over here maybe said Kia. And 17 or so respondents over here said Chevy. And the balance said Mercedes-Benz is the highest quality. And, uh, and so we, we go through this, we talk about that for just a second, and then we bring up this study by J.D. Power in 2017 of initial quality. And so, so what they said here was for every 100 vehicles sold, Kia had 72 reports of problems, Chevrolet 88 reports of problems, and Mercedes-Benz 102 which seems a little bit counterintuitive here when our belief is that Mercedes offers a higher quality car when at least according to this particular J.D. Power poll, Kia seems to offer the highest quality car. And what this does, it allows us to open up this discussion of, of what does it actually mean when we say we have quality? What is this thing that we call quality? And, and so whenever we're trying to understand what a particular word means, it's good to look at the definitions for that word. And so actually the ASQ, which is an organization that, that certifies quality engineers. They provide um, training, certifications, and they have uh, lots of reference materials that you can use if you're trying to understand quality, especially as it applies to manufacturing. We looked at the quality glossary for uh, ASQ, and we find that they define quality as a subjective term for which each person or sector has its own definition. And then they say in technical usage, quality has two meanings. Characteristics, the characteristics of a product or service that bear on its ability to satisfy stated or implied needs, which is almost word for word the ISO definition of the word quality. And two, a product or service free of deficiencies. So when we have a quality product, it doesn't have any deficiencies. Now. They, they, they go on, they, they say this, uh, Joseph Giron in his, uh, in his book said that it's fitness for use. Phil Crosby says that it's conformance with requirements. And, and what we get back to here though, when we ask this question, what is this thing we call quality, is that it, it really comes down to, especially in manufacturing, delivering quality means delivering exactly what the customer needs or requested. So if quality is meeting the customer's needs, how do we know when we have quality? We can measure things, we can understand them. If we cannot measure them, we can't improve them. So we can't control our manufacturing process if there's nothing about it that we can measure. And you know, when you can measure what you're speaking about and express in numbers, you know something about it. But when you can't measure it, you can't express it, you, you really don't know anything. And, and so I, I bring this up in the lecture. Um, because it's, it's a series of, of fairly famous quotes from a, a fairly famous historical figure. It was Lord Kelvin. And um, when we, when we want to understand if we have quality, we need to have some specifications. The customer needs to have told us what they want, or we need to have figured out what it is that the customer wants. And, uh, and so in this case, I've got a specification. I've got a drawing. We're looking at just one part of the quality of this, of this part in the next step here. But, um, but you can see this drawing, that there's, there's actually several functional parts on this drawing here. We have on the drawing, so there's an ID that we have to make in this part. And uh, in, in, this is an in-process drawing, so it says in manufacturing we're gonna check this with a go, no, go gauge. There's an outside diameter of this surface right here. And I know from the design of this part that, that what's important about that diameter is that the clamp that holds this piece down later fits snugly around there. I also know that these O-ring grooves here, the depth and width of those O-ring grooves, if we screw that up, 
we won't be able to assemble the final part later. And so I know we've got some, some fairly tight tolerances on these items here. The, uh, the ID bore we have there, and then this bore out here. And most of the rest of the quality of this part is really a visual inspection. Does it look good? So what we have on this process drawing here is, is called out the dimensions that we want to sample. And in fact, for this particular process, we, we do 100% sampling. We measure 100% of the parts that come off the machine to make sure that they are in conformance. And, and part of the reason for that is because it's a lab exercise with the students. And, and so part of it is because we're training the students to do the measurements. Part of it is because we don't want to get seven steps down the, the um, process in our assembly here and on the last day of classes not be able to do the assembly because maybe our outside diameter here is larger than the inside diameter of the test tube that that has to push into. Um, and so, so there's a reason that we're doing 100% inspection on this, which we might not do if it was a production scenario. We might be, uh, we might be doing some sampling and some other things. But, uh, but so we, we measure these. And um, I, guess, I guess most of us have seen a $100 bill. Maybe we've held lots of them in our hands and maybe we've seen some of them uh, from a distance, but uh, it, it does say on the back of this $100 bill, in God we trust. And, and anybody that's done any quality work, any, any manufacturing and try to ship parts to customers understands that we may trust God, but everybody else needs to bring data. And, and so what we've got here is we've actually got some sample data from a run of parts where we were making these parts to conform with that drawing. So the drawing's on the next page over here and I've got all this stuff grouped together for you. But we've got some sample data and, and what I'd like to do is talk about what do we do with the data once we have it.